A Manhattan federal judge has ordered documents in a lawsuit connected to Jeffrey Epstein be unsealed. All right, that ruling likely will make the names of dozens of people with ties to Epstein public. Fox 5 Sharon Crowley in the news are with more on exactly what that order means tonight. Sharon. Yeah, Stephen Natasha, those names could involve powerful business executives from former American presidents to British royalty and maybe names of public figures who we don't even know yet that may have had ties to Jeffrey Epstein. Now, a federal judge here in New York has ordered the unsealing of dozens of documents naming people linked to the disgraced businessman and accused sex trafficker. Those documents are expected to identify more than 180 people. The list will include associates, victims, investigators, and journalists who covered the case. Now, some of the names will remain under seal, including those belonging to minors. The accused pedophile's case generating worldwide interest. Epstein's suicide in 2019 in a Manhattan jail cell, further amplifying the public's thirst for information. And I think, quite frankly, the public has a right to know because, as you said, there's a form. There's at least one former president on that list. There's a former governor. There's members of the British royal family, A-list actors and celebrities, titans of business such as Bill Gates and Alan Dershowitz in the legal field. These are names I think that the public has a right to know who was associating with this man and what their association entailed to the extent that that information is available. So this order comes out of a uh, 2015 lawsuit between Epstein's accuser, Virginia Giuffray, and his former lover and accomplice, Ghislaine Maxwell. The case was settled in 2017, but the judge indicated in hearings, both in 2021 and 22, that the names would not remain sealed indefinitely. Giuffray has alleged that Epstein and Maxwell trafficked her while she was just 17 years old. She's now in her 30s. Now, those names are supposed to be made public next month. Criminal defense lawyer Ken Belkin telling me you can bet that right now many lawyers are already working to have their clients' names redacted from that list. Stephen Natasha.